Hey there, YouTube family. It's Stocks with Josh. And with the volatility ahead of us this week and this month, I thought it'd be a very interesting thing to look at leveraged exchange traded funds, 3X ETFs. And I specifically wanted to compare them against option trading to see which might be a better investment. Before we begin, please hit that like and say hi in the comments section. If you're new to the page, then the subscribe. And remember that anything I say is not a suggestion for you guys to buy, sell, or hold. There are also people using my picture and my name in the comment section trying to get you to reach out to them on Telegram, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Those are scammers. It's not me. I also want to touch briefly on our Verb Small Account Challenge. I want us to stay on top of that. I expect volatility this week as we're getting the inflation report uh, tomorrow. And I obviously, having said that, Verb is still in a place where it's trying to prove its current price range. The RSI and the MACD are both sitting bullish. Uh, however, if the markets decide to go south hard, there is room technically for it to go down to the 50 cent and find support. I, I think ideally around the 50 SMA moving average. But, bef but before that, there's also clear path above 70 cents if we decide to go on a bullish run. We're gonna have to wait and see. If you've joined the challenge in recent days, your first order of $50 should be set at 50 cents. You need to be patient and look and hope for a pullback. What we're doing is we're swing trading verb in a price range using the technicals and also being patient, only taking positions that are highly favorable. That's really key to our success. The charts still look good with Verb. We're gonna, we, I believe they're gonna, it's gonna move sideways and we're looking for a pop. If you wanna follow along on the Moomoo Small Account Challenge, there's a link in the description of the video. Download Moomoo, fund it with a minimum of $100 and place that first limit order of $50 at 50 cents. And I will give you updates as we go. Moomoo is offering five free stocks worth up to $2,500 each. And in addition to that, there's a link for Weeble. We're calling it Weeble Wednesdays, where Larry Jones Million Dollar Cup of Coffee Challenge is what we're using to invest there because they do fractional shares. We're doing value investing there with blue chip companies. Um, Larry and I and Stock Curry are currently looking at a new portfolio of value stocks to recommend to you guys in the coming days. So first we have to discuss what are triple leveraged ETFs? 3X leveraged ETFs are stock market investment tools that attempt to offer three times the gains of a traditional exchange traded fund. Just as you stand to make three times the gains, of course, you can also make three times the losses. So it's important that we look carefully at the risks. Today, we're gonna to compare leveraged ETFs to option trading to see which may be better for you guys. So what are some popular leverage ETFs? If you wanted to simply go long on the S&P 500, which is an index made up of America's top 500 companies such as Apple, Microsoft, and Google, you would buy the SPX ETF. If you wanted to trade it with three times the leverage going long, of course, long means that you believe that the stock will rise, you would trade the ticker SPXL. So for example, for every dollar the S&P 500 goes up, the SPXL would earn you $3. The downside, of course, is that for every dollar it goes down, you can lose $3. One of the most important things to know about these 3X ETFs is that they're designed to be short-term investments for day trading or very short swing trades. You shouldn't normally hold them for longer than a day. This is because of decay. It's called beta slippage or volatility decay. One of the three reasons 3X leverage ETFs can offer triple the return is that they have to rebalance at the end of each day. It's complicated math, but what's important for you guys to know is that over the long term, the math is working against you. When people trade these, they're essentially timing the market. And you know that we say don't time the market. Are 3X leverage ETFs the right investment for you? So 3X leverage ETFs are a unique trading vehicle and typically only traded successfully by seasoned traders. There is no investing or DCAing into these types of ETFs. The best way to trade them is with a hard stop loss. I wanna explore which is more risky though, a leveraged ETF or options. A lot more people jump into options. 
Options give you the right, but not the obligation, to buy a security in the future at a pre predetermined price. You must pay a premium to buy the right, the options contract. For example, let's say Apple stock was 100 bucks. You buy call options for a $3 premium, all right? If the market rises $10, then you just made 230% on your position. So you can see options use leverage. A person who bought Apple stock outright would have made 10%. The option trader makes 233%. Options have the problem of decay. You cannot hold your position until you're right. The term for that is theta, which is known as options time decay. Options have an expiration date. This means that if the market doesn't move in your favor before a specified date, you're going to lose everything. The option contract will go to zero. Nobody can always get their timing right. Sometimes you're going to be too early with your position, and this means your options will expire worthless. Now let's look at a leveraged ETF. Let's assume that the underlining market went from $100 to $110 to $121. Essentially, that would be a 10% increase per day. A 3x leveraged ETF would increase 30% per day. It would go from $100 in value to $130 to $169. So while options can go to zero, you can never lose everything with a leveraged ETF. A leveraged ETF will never go to zero. And since there is no expiry date, you can hold it until you're right. If the market moves against your position in the short term, that's okay. Just hold your position long enough until the market reverses in your favor. The leveraged ETF will lose money in the interim, but at least you won't get forced to cut your position at the bottom of the market. You can just wait, until your, wait out your losses until it turns to a profit. In essence, leveraged ETFs are better at protecti protecting your downside than options are. I thought that's very interesting to consider. In addition, you can short the market without all the risks associated with shorting an individual stock, as well as the limitations that the exchange would place on you to be able to short. If you believe the market is going much lower, you can also do an inverse leveraged ETF like SQQQ which trades against the NASDAQ by a 3x. This is what's referred to as an inverse ETF, which moves the opposite direction of the asset that it's tracking. So for example, that you're, you're, let's say you're pretty sure the NASDAQ is, is gonna have a rough day. For every dollar the NASDAQ drops with the SQQQ, you'll earn $3. There is nothing special to buying or selling a 3x ETF. You would just buy or sell them like you would a regular stock. The top three most popular leveraged ETFs are TQQQ. That's the most popular leveraged ETF on the market with assets of $12 billion and it goes long by 3x. The standard ETF with no leverage would be QQQ. That's an ETF that tracks the NASDAQ 100 index and basically includes all the larger cap technology companies. On the flip side, the ProShares Ultra Pro Short QQQ, which is the SQQQ, which offers the opposite exposure of the TQQQ, which is a negative 300% of the performance of the NASDAQ 100 index. That's the second most popular leveraged ETF. So if there is low volatility and the long-term direction stays the same, the gains on these can be absolutely incredible. For example, TQQQ was up almost 20,000% from 2010 to November of 2021. So for every dollar you put in at the beginning of that period, you would have made $200 of profit. So $1,000 invested and held in the TQQQ would have been worth 200,000 over that same period. So for comparison, the non-leveraged ETFs on the NASDAQ would have given you $9 for every dollar invested over the same time period. Both options and leveraged ETFs are very risky, but leveraged ETFs may be a better asset to learn before moving on to options. It will introduce you to leverage, but, but may have a better time factor for some of you. 
Many day traders or swing traders only trade the TQQQ and the SQQQ. They don't do any other stocks. And they, a, a lot of people make a lot of money that way. In conclusion, obviously options and leveraged ETFs are definitely risky assets to invest in. If you're looking to get into different types of trading, a lot of people jump right into options. And I think that it's worth them considering doing a small investment in one of these exchange traded funds and then moving on to the leveraged exchange traded funds with small amounts of money so they can begin to understand things like time decay as well as as the impact of leverage both going up and down. If you feel like you have a certain degree of certainty about which direction the market is headed, uh, the either one of these QQQs, uh, could the TQQQ or the SQQQ could be massive money makers in this current environment. So I hope that, that us looking at those has given you a little bit better understanding of some of these uh, types of uh, trading tools. And I appreciate you guys, as always, letting me be part of your financial journey. Uh, feel free to hit that like and the subscribe. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.